Hey guys, welcome to Charcoal King. Hey, as you saw on the thumbnail, here we go. The Oklahoma Onion Smash Burger. And let me tell you, we tried it a couple days ago. Damn, that bad boy is good. Stay tuned. All right, guys, before we dive down deep into this burger, I just want to give you a little background check. So this is me just reading off the internet. The onion burger was developed during the Depression because a guy, let me get this right, Ross Davis ran a restaurant in the Hamburger Inn along Route 66. Because of the Depression, the hamburger meat was expensive, but onions were cheap. So he started the idea about smashing onions into the burger to create more volume to sell something because meat was so expensive back in the day. Now to me, that's interesting. You wanna know why? Because growing up in East Tennessee, we had this chain restaurant called Crystal. For the people up north, it's called White Castle. Knew absolutely nothing indifferent about why they were serving it the way we were. Basically, it's a small bun. The, the burger is almost steamed on the flat top with some onions. It's got a pickle and a little bit of uh, mustard and that's it. Now obviously, you know, you can get creative in how they do it. But it's never dawned on me that this whole time, that whole model has been based off of this. And it is like mind blown. I, I just never, never put the two and two together. So I've looked at all the thumbnails. I've done all my history. I've looked at how people's made them. And the other day I was like, man, we're grilling out some steaks. And I said, before we do this, I really want to try it. Like, is it really that good? Because what I've always known it to be is completely different. So we got, we fired the grill up, got my uh, griddle out, smashed them, put the onions on there, flipped them, steamed the bun, you name it. And my wife can attest. Fantastic. What was it? Fantastic. She's and not a burger fan, but. I would eat that burger. Every. Day. Thank you. It was, <laughs> I mean, juice was just running down the arm. I don't know if I just cooked it perfect or whatever, but today we're going to put it on a flat top grill. So without further ado, let's get going. All right. So there's two different possibilities for this. Now, you know that you gotta shave your onion super thin. So it started making me think, do people make the onion burger without the confidence of shaving their onions? Because people use a mandolin. First of all, not everybody's got a mandolin. Second of all, not everybody has enough knife skills or knife confidence to sit there and shave something so thin to make it worthwhile. So we're gonna do both today. I will say this, whichever method you feel comfortable with the most, please do, because that's gonna produce the most confidence and return the best product off your flat top, your grill, wherever you cook it. You got it? If you don't have any one of these, cast iron skillet, full, foolproof. So I'm gonna do it two ways and we're gonna see if we can uh, see the difference. I'm gonna keep the root intact. So all I'm gonna do is discard. All right, guys, the first thing up is going to be the mandolin, okay? And so for mine, basically all I'm doing is going to the nearest, the thinnest way possible. That's an eighth of an inch, and I've got it razor thin. So if you just push it down, however yours works, I'm just going to go one click, and that's going to make it super thin, okay? Now, the confident, when you, I should say this, if you're going to use a mandolin, make sure you keep your root end to your onion, okay? Because that's going to keep your onion together, and it's less chance your onion um, separates while you're slicing it. So... There are safety guards. Disregard what I'm doing. I prefer not to use it. That's just the way we were trained. Oh, don't do that. Don't show them that. <laughs> I mean, that's just the way we we're trained. I feel comfortable with it, but I'm not going to go all the way down to the end. Then after that, we're going to cut the onion and see which one we like. You ready? Oh, you're making me nervous. Stop. <laughs> all right. Okay, just show them how the little guard works. Okay, well, the guard probably won't work on this, but we'll show them. So basically, the guard's got little teeth, and it just stops your hand from getting down there. Let's see if you can do better than that, babe. All right, as you guys can see, that's pretty daggum thin. That's shaved just about as good as it can get. Okay, my mandolin actually might be a little bit thicker than some of the ones out there. Okay. So with that being said, we're gonna shave it ourselves and see what happens. Oh, 
that's what you call paper thin. Now I will say I'm not here to uh, toot my own horn, but that's definitely thinner than our one than our thinnest level on the mandolin. So either way, I feel comfortable. Like I said, we're gonna put them on the flat top. I don't think this will make that much of a difference, but you definitely want it super thin. Okay, that's the whole idea behind it. Back to the flat top. I got my two burners on high, and I have. 7525 ground beef. That's what we made the other day. And I think the extra fat just helps comes down. I like my onions overcooked. I like them charred. I like them burnt. I like them caramelized. Flavor God, just all over it. Because I'm telling you, we had that burger. It was fantastic. And just basically some simple ingredients after that. We're going to season the meat. It's going to have some cheese on it, some pickle, some yellow mustard, and we're done. Flat tops on high. Getting everything ready for a burger. All right. So what I'm gonna do, this is exactly one pound of ground beef. So just by poor man's logic, let's say that's half, that's a quarter, and that's a quarter. I can deal with that right there. All right, make your balls. So these two on the right are gonna have my onions. These two on the left are gonna have the mandolin onions. We're gonna see which one's better? Yeah. It already smells good. I'm actually disappointed in the mandolin that didn't uh, save it thinner. But I don't use it that often. All right, guys, so now that we got them to this point, I just seasoned them with a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic. Here we go. all them onions. Mm. All that burr gets smashed on the inside of it. Now, now look what happens. This is what makes this burger so exceptional. All that fat just beads down on them onions and just cooks and cooks and cooks. And that's why I got the 75-25. So now that we flip them, come back in with a little bit of seasoning. All right, guys, you might want to smash the burgers before, but I got to tell you, when I did it, I didn't. I did it just like this. And I think it actually helps, look at all them, oh yeah. I think it helps the onions cook inside of the, uh, in the burger. And then I like to put my cheese on top of the onions. See how thick those are? That's what I was worried about. And then I like to take my cheese and put it on top of the onions so they don't come out as easy. Now you take your bun. That's a hot grill. Okay. Mm. Now let me tell you something. They might have added the onion. because of cost and not because of uh, flavor. But my gosh, let's go finish these things off. Ooh. All right, guys, here's how we're gonna finish them. A little mustard. Just a couple slices of pickle. You guys add as much or little as you like, but I'm telling you, with that steamed bun and those onions. Mmm. Mmm. That is a work of art. That is, that, my mouth is drooling.
the Oklahoma Onion Burger. Hands down, probably one of the best burgers we've ever had. It's like crystal on steroids. I don't know else how to explain it, but I'm telling you right now, I'm diving deep in this burger. Typically, I'm an onion, tomato, lettuce kind of guy. Now you guys see why I do the 7525. How is it? I gotta tell you, I can't believe I've cooked for so long and enjoyed cooking so long and always want to push the boundaries. And this is like flown so low under the radar. Not anymore. If you haven't tried it or you're like, hey, that burger's too simple, forget about it. Hands down. I love this dang thing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button. Take this burger serious because I'm telling you, we're going to want to make it again. Peace. <laughs>